Rejoice and be glad, for today the Lord has made. Fair use for education purposes and copyright material. Mr. Cat, I observation, he uses his mind. He teaches us to use our mind, but there's more to see if we use our think. I mean, the gray matter between the ears is there for a reason. Use it. Think for yourself. Don't let somebody tell you. Same with the, the Bible. He said, so don't take what I say. Read the Bible for yourself. Make yourself a Berean. Okay? So these are my thoughts declared as well. Greg Alvin, Ariana Grande 22, Virtual Connection. My focus is going to be down here, really on this guy and these two right here. Second Thessalonians, we see that uh, we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, not to the Antichrist, but unto Christ, that ye not be shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by letter from us that the day of Christ is at hand. In other words, the day of Christ uh, is the day, the blessed hope, the harpazo, the snatching away. And uh, Paul is rebuking someone who put a uh, forged letter out there in his name. Okay, and there they thought that they had missed the harpazo. And Paul is reminding them, hey, you're still there. You're still in Christ. And since you're there, that day of Christ has not come. So don't, don't, when he comes down here, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Now, this to me has dual meaning, dual meaning, and just like uh, the statue of Nebuchadnezzar with Daniel. Uh, Daniel saw the statue of head of gold, silver for the chest, bronze for the thigh, two legs of iron, which were Rome. Well, the two legs of iron uh, actually were perfect because Rome had two capitals. So the two legs became Rome and Constantinople, and it also became Istanbul today. But then I looked again, and the Lord revealed to me, and he said, look again. And I looked, and the two legs became Christianity and Islam. And yet a third time I looked, and I saw uh, Isaac, and I saw Ishmael, two sons. So the two meetings here, a falling away is a faith, a falling away of faith. And this caught me because then uh, Mr. Cowley was talking as his uh, video that the Pope, the white horse, with him being in white, uh, will be will uh, bring about a worldwide great deception. And I thought, wow, that would be perfect. Therefore, the, the first part I see that we're gathering unto him, Jesus Christ, is a physical departure, whereby then the Pope, through his can create a great deception of a, if this is going to be the false messiah, then he will come through a portal. You will see Jesus, a lookalike like Jesus, coming in the cloud, which means that's the man of sin revealed. He's going to reveal himself then at that time. Therefore, as a watchman, I need to, to uh, warn and say, watch out, okay? Uh, don't be deceived. I mean, get right now, because if you're, you're right with the Lord. You're going in the in the harpazo. You're going if you're na you you know who Jesus Christ is. You're sealed. Then you're going in that. So you're, uh, the falling away, dual meaning. It could be a physical departure, and it can also be a spiritual, a great deception, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And what is he? He opposes and exalts himself above all that is God, or that is worshipped. See? In other words, so that he, as God said, is in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Jewish uh, nation of Israel on the Solomon, Temple of Solomon, where the Dome of the Rock is there, they want to build their third temple. If that temple is built, guess who's going to go in? Is this guy going to go in there? The man is standing. Is he going to go in there and say, I'm God? Something to be watchful for. Be watchful. Be a watchman. Okay? I'm, I'm sounding this so far. Okay? So then I, after he did that, I went to refresh my, my mind. What is, What are the four uh, horsemen? So I went to 6-1, and I saw the lamb open one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, and one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse. Okay, And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, 
come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given, un, given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. So the red horse, uh, the first one is a, a crown given to uh, one that to conquer. Okay. Now, that could be, uh, well, I'll just keep going. Give him a great sword. That sounds to me like a, a thermonuclear weapon. Okay. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the beast, third beast say, Come and see, and I behold a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him, and power was given unto him, them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the field. Okay. So here is that one of the sections that I was in there. There is the four horsemen. That's what I got from my Revelation, my King James Version. That's what the four horsemen are called and what they have and what they've been given. So I, I came back again and I saw and behold a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. That's exactly what this uh, Pope has done. What's the, what's the uh, going to conquer the Protestants, the Evangelicals, and everyone else to come bring them in them, forcing them into, or well, actually right now trying to get them to come into uh, the one religion, which is the, the religion of Rome. The Pope of Rome, Vatican, sits on seven hills as the Mother Harvest. Revelation 18 tells uh, the people inside this church to come out. You're sit there, you're with idolatry, you're praying to statues of former popes. You've got Mary elevated as though she is Jesus herself and can forgive sins. She cannot. There's only one mediator between God and, and humanity, and that is Jesus Christ. Okay? That, that is just blasphemy, uh, getting Mary in there. Okay? I'm sorry, but uh, the truth is, as a watchman, you've got to open your eyes and you've got to see uh, what you're, what's happening here. <coughs> Mr. Cadi sees him, the white horse, making a great deception. And that was with that, um, here, with this entity or whatever it is that this maybe comes in the sky and, and everyone accepts him as Jesus Christ coming, the second coming of Jesus Christ, who comes and sets up with the Pope. Because if he comes up to the Pope, then the Pope becomes a false prophet and this becomes a false Christ. I myself think the Pope is a false Christ because he's called the Vicar of Christ right now. So he's already saying that he is Christ. And uh, that's, that's, that's between you and God. If you're going to follow a man or you're going to follow the real Christ who died on the cross for you. Okay? So, I start with the third seal up here. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. Okay, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, three scores of a barley for a penny, and see the oil and the wine. Bad economy. See, this is blump. Uh, Trump is in black. He's in the white. The white. So Mr. Caddy sees the Pope as a white horse, and Trump with uh, Milena and Ivanka in black. Catholic. Okay, They're, they are believers of, of the Roman Catholic Church. Okay? I'm a believer of Yeshua, the Adonai Yeshua HaMashiach, the Son of the Living God, who died on the cross, took my sins away, and uh, has forgiven me, and washed me of all my sins. Okay? can't follow man and God. You can't have two gods. That's, uh, you, you don't bow to, uh, to this man. That's what uh, Jesus' third temptation. Okay? So a bad economy, to me, is what Trump is going to get stuck with. It's going to be from Obama. When Obama was president of the United States and he's made this economy, Bush and Obama together, uh, both of them uh, worshiping uh, 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 
uh, belong to Satan and they worship uh, Lucifer. Okay. Sorry, it's it's the truth. So you have to. Uh, you don't want to believe the truth that, that you can do that. You know. And when he opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, "Come and see." And there went out a another horse that was red, and power was given him to that sat on to take peace from the earth. Okay. So the second seal, you see. And that should kill one another, and there was given to him a great sword. The great sword I see is a thermonuclear weapon, and the red horse could be Trump again. That's why I have both of them. The second seal and the third seal, I'm pointing it at Trump, because him uh, being the President of the United States of America right now, and red horse, you could say uh, China, North Korea, uh, how about the Soviet Union, communism, that a war breaks out. He breaks out a war with North Korea. Okay, and what's that? Then many are killed. Then it goes into maybe Russia, uh, maybe China gets into it, and then bingo. Now we've got uh, the economies all messed up. It goes down, a shortage of food and everything else because he has made a covenant with Lucifer. I've actually heard video with them singing in the Church of Rome in Latin, singing praise unto Lucifer. You really need to open your eyes and see what you're being deceived. Jim Jones led people to, to drink poison and their Kool-Aid. Give their life, not to a man, give your life to Jesus Christ. So you can see, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth angel, be say, come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, this is a, a light green, and his name that sat on him was Death. Okay. And hell followed him, and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, and with death, and with the beast of the air. Okay. War always leaves the population hurting with disease and the beast of the field, killing people. Okay. That happens. If it happens unto him, it will be with his blessing. Thus Trump will be blamed for the wars and then the disease and hunger that falls with world war over what? Iran, North Korea, Syria? What is this? This is the elite. This is the New World Order. George W. George Hubert Walker Bush, son of Prescott Bush, who was during World War II arrested for war crime, aiding and abetting Adolf Hitler. Therefore, under uh, George Hubert Walker Bush, he was in charge of the CIA, which was populated with Reinhard Galen, Gestapo under Operation Paperclip. The United States of America was being overthrown even back then. That's why we've got a far-left Nazi idealism that uh, uh, another word for fascist is corporatism. So, this, we see, is what Mr. Kata is trying to warn us. Well, he's a watchman. He's not uh, so much in, into a biblical aspects as much as I am. But I, I, I respect Mr. Kata because he uses his brain. He actually thinks. Where some people just, it's nothing there but, but uh, keep a hat on. So he does some thinking and he shows us the, the ritual because I've had enough encounters with evil that evil. You have to give evil the right to come in. If you don't give evil the right to come into your life, evil can't come in. The demons that were, that were in the man that was legion had to have permission to get into that man. Jesus cast him out. Okay. So the New World Order, Mr. Cat, I see the Pope with that deity or whatever. Okay, and I wanted now, I want to come up with what he's been seeing. See, he's been seeing 923, 923, 921, 922, 924, over and over and over, from way back in 2016. Well, this sign right here, Revelation 12, 1 through 5, okay? Uh, this happens on September 23rd, uh, 2017. Mr. Cat-Eye running into a date of 923 and 924, seem to declare the two are connected. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm connecting the two for him. Okay, so Revelation 12, and yeah, I did get up to the 5, okay. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, 
That was this. This is the zo this is the astronomy. And if you use stell stellarium, uh, you can get this to, sh the, to come up and see that the, the nine stars with the three planets become the twelve, the crown of twelve. Then the, the Jupiter goes into the, the belly of the Virgin, and then a 923 comes out. Okay. So, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Okay. Twelve tribes of Israel. The woman is Israel. And in fact, it's actually, I believe, Jerusalem. Okay. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, in pain to be delivered. That's what's happening right now with Israel, right now with all her enemies, the Hezbollah and uh, uh, Iran, and everyone wanting to push Israel off the, the map that Israel is no longer there. And Palestine, Palestine, Palestine. Well, Palestine uh, was, uh, Israel was renamed uh, from uh, the Roman Emperor uh, Hadrian, who took it after the Philistine, David and Goliath, and that he named it Palestine. Okay, to remove the heritage of the Jews from the land. And that's why Palestine is, is remembered today. And the name of Israel is not. So it's not that the uh, Jewish people are occupiers, but they're, the occupiers are the Arabs who are occupying the land of Israel. Okay? The Philistines, under David, uh, under Goliath, made a, a vow that if Goliath was killed, they would serve the, the Jews. But if the Jews... Uh, if the Jews soldier warrior who came out to, to fight Goliath died, then the Jews would serve uh, the Philistine. That didn't happen. Uh, Goliath was killed and his head cut off. Okay, so the Philistines were to, according to what Goliath said, blasphemy of uh, names of God, of God, uh, they would serve forever. They're wanting to break that and they're trying to claim the land of Israel as Palestine and their land when it's the land of Israel. And it's God's land, and it was given to them. And Jerusalem is his city, and that's his name. And if you want to have a, a fight with God, just keep trying to break it up and, and cut that in and divide it into, uh, make it a two-state solution, especially when Palestine doesn't even exist because it was created by a Roman emperor, uh, Hadrian. Okay, And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto God, to his throne. Okay, the man child is a teaching by Paul the Apostle that we are in one body, Jesus Christ. And that started at Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came down in Jerusalem. Okay, so that's when the conception of the of the body of Christ began. It has been growing. Every time somebody gives their life to Jesus Christ, that just like a child inside the womb of a, of a woman grows and after nine months it comes out. That's exactly what this uh, nine months gestation in the Revelation 12, the child comes out, it represents the body of Christ, believers, who are whisked away, they are snatched, they are puzzled out, okay, and we, the body of Christ, rule with Christ as uh, heirs to the throne, he makes us through his righteousness, his blood shed on the cross, our sins paid by him, we are unrighteous, centered, but he has made us uh, worthy by his blood. Okay, so evil seeking to crush the Jews and Christians comes in peacefully, but is deception. That's what this. I'm when when Mr. Cat I talked about this deity or whatever it is that's coming in here that has its head and looks like something's coming in. Is this an alien deception? Is this the Agenda 21 uh, where the with a a false flag of aliens come in saying, uh, "Well, we created you." Therefore, as a, a watchman. I gotta wa watch out. I mean, bad enough with with the Pope declaring that Allah and Jehovah are the same God. They're not the same God. That there is blasphemy right there. He's a Jesuit priest, okay? And so is Trump. So is Trump and uh, uh, the Pope working together to to cause. Um, okay, is the Pope? He's a Jesuit. Jesuit trained. Pence is Jesuit trained. Are, is this all end time coming together at the same time for this 923-24? I mean, it starts around 921, a day called the Day of Trumpet that no man knows because it's got to find, it, first of all, have to see the, the, the moon, the sliver of the moon for the new moon. 
Okay. Well, to me, this, this with what uh, Mr. Cowley observed, his observation of evil, okay, coming in. So, this is Paul's apostle. This is the, the gospel of Apostle Paul from the revelation of Jesus Christ. This is what gets you saved. Okay. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you which also you have received, wherein you stand, by which you are saved. Okay? Not calling on his name, but which you are saved. Okay? If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered first unto you all that which I also received, how that Christ died according to, died for our sins according to our scriptures. What's that? He was nailed on a cross. His blood was shed. He was righteous. His blood was innocent. That innocent, righteous blood washes away our sins, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Therefore, if we come to that cross, that old rugged cross, and we give ourselves to Christ, asking him, forgive me, and come into my heart, then we can come now to the sinner's prayer, and we can make that confession, and we can get ready. And that uh, Mr. Cat I see, was a great deception by the Pope. That great deception of the Pope has been talked about for a long time, that the uh, uh, man of uh, sin will come and set up his first three and a half year, and that will probably be with a, with a mark, the name or the number, and they will get things set up because the, I believe the, the believers who in Jesus, in the body, which is that Revelation 12 sign, are snatched down. So you don't have to miss that. You now have the, the foundation, the First Corinthians 15. When you have the gospel that he, he went to the cross. That then, now you can, with the Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer asking for the forgiveness of my sins. I confess with my mouth and believe with my heart that Yeshua, Jesus, is your son, and that he died on the cross at Calvary. That I might be forgiven and have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Father, I believe that Yeshua, Jesus, rose from the dead. And ask you right now, come into my life. Be my personal Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins and will worship you all the days of my life. Because your word is truth. I confess with my mouth that I am born again. Cleansed by the blood of Yeshua and Jesus. And Yeshua in English means salvation. So that John 3.16, God so loved the world, he sent salvation, not judgment. The judgment today of the Lord is judgment upon the world for all who reject Christ, who spoke the word of the Father. If you reject the word, you reject the Father. And now, he said to the man, a sin is going to come. You don't have to go through that. If you turn and come to that cross and understand and, and pray, in Yeshua Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Tell someone. This will be my link to my website. I'll put it in the more information. And that uh, you can... Uh, <coughs> Come on over, witness that you gave your life to Jesus, and I will, and I will be more than happy to witness both here and in heaven. So, Mr. Cat, I has his thing, and these these thoughts are not his. Understand that. I've got a brain. That's one thing I've learned from Mr. Cat. I is I've got a brain, and I see things. And I I used to grow up, and I, one thing I used to love when I was growing up was puzzles. And the society and the, the culture and everything else is we're so sophisticated and yet we can't we can't solve the problem of the people going hungry. We're more uh, willing to invest in weapons of mass destruction and war and everything else rather than helping each other. Why? Finally came to me, yeah. He says the God of this world is our father, the devil, and you will sit here and lust after the things of the flesh, hunger you will Obesity, you you sit there, you uh, glutton, you you sit there, overeat, you overdrink and overindulge in everything, unless you you get born again, like Nicodemus, you can't climb back in to your mother's womb, you must be born again of the spirit, and time is running out. I mean, Pope and Trump, they're together, him the white, uh, and wearing white, Trump wearing and, and Milana in black. They reverse their roles. Uh, I agree with with Mr. Caddy. I see that that pop. That first thing it did, it popped out. Is it why is she in black? 
and the Pope is in white. Well, then he, you see, is coming as the white horse. I see what, what Mr. Cadai is saying. He's setting himself to be that one who will go forth to conquer and conquer uh, the religions of the world. He's going to, uh, Catholic, he's going to make a universal faith, a one world religion, a one world currency, a one world uh, leader. Could that leader be what he is in that crop circle? Is that the man of sin? Well, for the man of sin to be revealed, the church has to get out of the way. And then the Pope, as Mr. Cadi sees, could then put a great deception. He can say that this is the, yeah, we, we've had contact with him, and the aliens here or whatever are the uh, creator of man. God has not, God has to change your views and, and these aliens made us in their image. Okay, that's going to be a great deception. Don't be deceived. Oh. 26 minutes. Uh, not too bad. I was, I was fearful that I was going to go an hour or something or other. But hopefully I made it. The four horsemen. Mr. Cat, I sees them. He's connected them with Trump. He's connected Trump with the Pope. I connect both of them together because they're both Jesuit. Pope was trained uh, as a Jesuit. Trump is trained as a Jesuit. Together they can bring about a uh, together. Could Trump be the man of sin? Hard to say. We're, the church uh, won't be here. Who the man of sin is, I don't think we'll see. We will be harpazzled out. And then the man of sin is going to be revealed. To those who are left behind, they are going to think, because like uh, Mr. Cat I said, this ritualistic, uh, um, um, ritual uh, science that he sees, they're warning, they're telling us, they are forced to tell us what they're going to do to us. Right? So if you get the warning and you do nothing about it, then you just agree. But if you see it and you fight it like I'm fighting by coming out with this video, then don't accept what the Pope brings because he himself should never have put anyone to death. He himself should never have said that uh, Jehovah and Allah are the same God because they're not. God does not uh, sit there and ask you to sacrifice him, uh, a child, six-year-old and stuff like that and, and cut people's heads off. Okay? So, open your heart. Let Jesus come in. Get that salvation. Too many Roman Catholics you love you have a love for God, then use that. Go to the, the cross and get your, your salvation right with Christ. Okay. So we'll leave it there. And uh, thank you, Mr. Cat -Eye, and uh, for allowing me to, hopefully I haven't uh, abused too much. And Mr. Scott, I'll try to get uh, a link down there for you as well. So Maranatha, which is, come quickly, Lord. We're looking for your blessed coming. We're gathering for him. We're gathering for the Messiah. The Adonai, the Lord. All right. So, Maranatha, and uh, may the Lord uh, use this and glorify Himself. May you who are are shut, may they open and see. Shalom.